Welcome back everyone to Crypto and More. So today we're going to look at the Bitcoin chart. I've been I've been looking at it, you know, I I've, I've been I've been staying on the sidelines for quite amount of time. Um I made a couple trades here and there, not not significant trades. I, I made maybe overall about $1000. But I wasn't trading, you know, I was trading less than less than one percent of my of my portfolio um just to see if i could make some money in this in this sideways you know downwards trend um obviously this video is not financial advice this is going to be my opinion based on what i see on the charts and we're going to start from the daily and then we're going to move up to the monthly um but right now i have it on the daily as you can see Bitcoin has been dropping for quite amount of time, a good amount of time since November. Right now we're towards the end of December. Um it's a lot of it's a lot of been a lot of volatility, a lot of you know, people a lot of people are scared right now. Uh, if you look at the Bitcoin fear and greed index, actually it's an extreme fear. Uh, and it's been trending down, you know, last month it was at 43, you know, last week at 28, yesterday at 29. Today is 25, and I was actually looking. The lowest we've had, you know, this month was the 16th, uh, 16 uh, on the fear and greed index. So that's pretty low, pretty low. Um, so a lot of questions have been asked. You know, like, is this the bottom? Is it going to continue to go lower, or is it, is it, you know, is it going to continue going up, or is it going to go up from here? You know. <clears throat> The thing is, right now, we don't really know. I don't even know, to be honest. And that's the reason I've been sitting on the sidelines and not really trading or, or doing anything. I, you know, it. That's what this is saying. You know, the trend is the end until the end. The trend right now is down. Um. So I'll talk about the good, the good news and the bad news. We'll start off with the bad news. Is the trend hasn't changed. In all honesty, it it. It still hasn't changed. If you could see Bitcoin, it's still on a downward trend. You know, it's 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 been going down. It hasn't broken the trend. It's been going down. Um, nothing that really indicates that there's a reversal. Um, Stoke RSI seems to getting get seems to be getting close to the overbought levels. It's still not there yet, but it's getting close, at least on the daily which could indicate that you know that there still could be a little more downwards pressure maybe going back and retest the I think this is the 400 EMA um so maybe back to the 43 42 43 thousand dollar range obviously it's not something that people want to see but we're not that far from it so it's not going to be as scary as when it happened here because this was a very significant drop um on the daily at least that's the only negative news or negative thing that i see on the chart there's some good news the regular rsi is it's it's pretty low it's not on the oversold level but you know if, if you look at bitcoin's previous uh price history it's it's a really it's a good time where it usually tends to you know reverse a little bit so um, that's one good news. The second one is that on the uh, Cypher B divergence, we actually bought, got a, a buy signal. So at least on the daily, it looks like, you know, it, it might go up a little bit. But if you see here, we're actually trading in between the 8 EMA and the 300 EMA. So it's getting squeezed out. So we have to see where it's going to close, if it's going to close below the 300 or above the 8. The other good news is that if you see here, the ADMA is kind of flattening out. It's kind of curving a little bit, you know, so it it could be an indicator that it could bounce off the 300 and, you know, and, and go up from, from there. So it, it could go here, bounce off and go up. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Because if you actually look at previous, you know, the previous indicators, it will go. We'll start with this one where it looked like the AEMA was was starting to curve up, maybe bounce off like it did here, 
you know, and continue up, but it actually didn't. It got rejected off of the, I believe this is a 200, and they kept going down, and then they even dropped below the, sorry, I keep forgetting these indicators because I don't use it that much. Uh, it actually ended up going below the 400 and then going up from there. Um, same thing here, uh, where it looked like it was going down. Um, no, that wasn't it. I think this was the one that was I was actually mentioning. So, um, this this doesn't you know really tell anyone it's gonna bounce off from here and that's it. You know, it's we have to wait and see. We really have to wait and see what Bitcoin does. Even if it bounces off of here and and and, and it looks like it's gonna trend higher, it doesn't mean that it's gonna continue to trend higher. It could get rejected. It could be a fake out and actually drop below. Um, what I did notice though was that you see here on the 400 um, where it kept kind of like going a little bit below and then it kept going high up above it and then kind of dropping below again where it touched the the 500 EMA and then going up and then kind of like you know going below the 400 again and then it retouched the 500 for the second time and then it started going up from there. Um, I'm kind of seeing something similar but a, like one uh, below that. So instead of the 500 being the one that it touches, it's doing the 400 one. So where it came and touched the 400, it, it went up. It's kind of going below the 300, you know, a few times. There's still a chance that it, it might actually drop again, touch the 400, and then from there go up kind of like what it did here with the 500 EMA. Um, I know it's a lot that I just said. You know, but it's a possibility if Bitcoin does end up going uh, lower still um, from where it's at at the moment. Um, but this next week or two is it's going to be it, we'll find out what happens pretty much. So um, we just have to wait and see which which way it goes, if under the 300 or above the eight. Obviously, I would love to see it go above the eight. Um kind of tired of the sideways downwards trend in all honesty um, but it, it could be a good buying opportunity for people that have money on the side you know if it if it does come and retest these levels or these indicators um so that that's it for the daily for the weekly where's it at the weekly so i'm gonna keep the emas on the weekly i just and the monthly i believe i i just feel like the emas um like it's it's respected the EMAs a little more than the SMAs, SMAs. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it with the EMAs. Um. So right now we're above the 50, below the 21. Stoke RSI. Well. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll talk about the good news. I I like the weekly a little bit more. You know, Stoke RSI is it's really oversold. Um. It it started it's it's flattening out right here. So there's a possibility that at least maybe this week that it just started or next week it, it's going to continue to go a little bit higher. I don't think, in all honesty, this month we're going to go back and retest, you know, the, the all-time highs. I think it's still going to be trending kind of sideways within, you know, this channel right here. I know it's kind of like, I know it's a big, big price difference, you know, like, you know, but I think it's still going to at 40 percent, you know, I think it's just going to be tra trending kind of sideways here, at least on the weekly. I don't think it's going to go lower. I know the daily I said that it might go and, and kind of retest these levels. But on the weekly, it does look a little better, a little healthier for me. Uh, worst case scenario on the weekly, it'll come and retest the forty four thousand dollar range. Um, but to me, the weekly looks really good, in all honesty. I, I like the weekly chart. Um, the only thing negative, if I would have to say anything negative, is if this AEMA goes below the 21. Um, the RSI is actually here, you know, on the kind of like on the median range, so it, it could likely go lower. Um, but so far in the weekly, to me, it, it looks it looks pretty good. Um, I know the week just the week just closed too, and it's already on red. It was green not that long ago. The week did just close. Um, yeah, 
So on the two week, uh, so the two week right here, it's actually it's it's holding up the 21 EMA really beautifully. The only downside about the two week is that you know it's actually gotten below twice. Um, so are we gonna go below that 21 EMA again? you know, in these next two weeks. That's the real question. So we have to wait and see. Um, yeah, it's just, it's my, my, I, I, I'm thinking right now, like, okay, like, is this, a, is this a, a way of showing that, you know, the bulls are in control or is it showing that, you know, the bulls are losing the strength because, it, it dropped pretty significantly, went back up. It dropped below the 21 again, went back up. Are we going to go below this here and come down here again? Or are we going to remain and, and keep having a, 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 a higher low, you know, every two weeks? If we keep having a higher low, obviously that's good news. Bulls are showing strength. But if we actually end up breaking, you know, below, then it, it it could mean another another leg down at least one last time before we, we go up, which kind of in which kind of goes with my theory on on the daily chart, you know, where since this is being squeezed out, that we might come and retest this one more time, kind of like how it did back here, where it tested it once and then it came the second time and it kept going higher. So it'll kind of go with my prediction that it may do something similar. Um, it's just on a on a smaller time frame. Um, so that's for the two weeks. Um, obviously we had a negative divergence and it kept going lower from there. Obviously this was about, about a month ago. So it, it, this downtrend can or could be over the two weeks. Stoke RSI is pretty low as well. We just have to wait and see it. It, it, it could continue to go lower. Um, RSI is, it's on the medium range as well. So, I mean, it, I, I don't like it when I say this, but it, it could go up or down, you know, and, and I know it sounds like a lot of these YouTubers and a lot of these, uh, technical analysts that say it may go down or it may go up is that the fact is that no one really knows and it doesn't matter how well you are or how well, well respected you are as a trader. In reality, no one really knows where the market's going to go. You know, what we do is just look at these indicators, look at, you know, previous price action and kind of gauge where it may be in the next days or weeks or months. Um, obviously, from what I see, at least on the two week chart, it, there's still a chance that it may go a little lower. Um, the chances on the two week that it may go lower, it's a little less to me than going higher but I just I have this feeling that it's it's, it's gonna come and, and and you know I think it was a weekly at least come in at least retest you know this the 50 EMA and then and then go higher maybe maybe come back to the 42 again 42 to 44 and then go higher but it's not what I would want to see I actually just want to I want to see it go up from here Maybe, maybe even starting in January, you know, starting the New Year's with a good run. Um, but I'll give my opinion on that after, because now that we look at the monthly chart, this looks bearish. <laughs> the monthly chart to me, you know, when that doesn't look bearish, you know, it, it, it looks like Maybe, maybe well, people might say bearish. It, it actually looks really bullish on the monthly chart. Like if if you look, you know, on on the longer time frame and, and you take in, in, take into consideration, you know, everything. Uh, this actually looks. It doesn't look as bad. You know, worst thing would be it, it touching the 21 on the on the monthly. Um, Although the 21 on the monthly, if I say it's 37,000, it looks really bearish. People are going to be extremely fearful. Um, this month, we actually got that sell signal. It, it just doesn't doesn't look, you know, like this month it's it's going to go back and, and, you know, 
retest his new all-time highs. It even looks like in January we might not even, you know, go past the new all uh, the the all-time high. I I don't think January is going to be that month. I see more maybe February, March, you know, passing the previous all-time high looking at the monthly in all honesty. I just don't see it in January. You know, I hope I'm wrong though. I really really hope I'm wrong. I would love to see Bitcoin go above the previous all-time high or its all-time high and I just I just don't see it in all honesty. I see it more February or March, you know. Um stock RSI has been pretty low though. It's been it's been getting close to that oversold levels. It could still go lower obviously. This is why I think on the monthly it looks like it, it may come in and retest the may come and test the um the 21 uh EMA. Um the SM I never tried the SMAs on this one. Uh, SMAs look lower. I, I don't know, I just like the, the EMAs have been working pretty well with, with, with Bitcoin and on these on these price actions. So we have to wait and see obviously. Um we still have about ele well, we still have 11 days. We have to wait and see if it closes below or above the eight um, EMA. I if it closes above it, that's good. Maybe we'll get a bounce off of that. If it closes below it, that's when I feel like it it may come and kind of give people that last scare, or maybe you could say that last chance to buy, you know quote-unquote low before you know it, it, it continues to go higher so we have to wait and see um the ema ribbons i haven't even looked at the ema ribbons yeah see we had a bounce off of here went higher there's still there's still a chance that it may bounce off the ema ribbons which is still where that ema that i was talking about so we'll have to wait and see see what what it does um but let me know what you guys think obviously this is just my opinion um, I, I personally don't think it's, it's going to reach a new all time high January. Um, maybe Feb, like I said, maybe February, March, um, and then probably start reaching that, you know, a hundred thousand dollars plus Bitcoin, maybe April, May, June of next year, uh, a lot later than I expected. I, I gotta be honest, I was completely wrong, you know, on my previous videos, I thought that by the end of December, you know, by, you know, New Year's Eve will probably be like around the 90 to $98,000 range. I was completely wrong. I did not expect, you know, for Bitcoin to be this low in, in, in all honesty. Um, I think it was more hope, you know, that was, it was a lot of hopium that I was, that I was taking in, man. It just, but it's okay. You know, even though it's, it's, even though Bitcoin doesn't usually, you know, Bitcoin is usually like November, December are good months. This year just happened to be a not so good month, months. But first, I, you know, even though that's true this year, um, if you look at, at the previous years, um, January, you know, is still, is still a pretty good month for Bitcoin. So um, we'll just have to wait and see. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.